Good morning, Eagle Nation. It's Tuesday, the 14th of February. That's right. It's Valentine's Day. It's also the 115th day of school and the 26th day in this quarter. Check around your room. Is that number still posted somewhere, somewhere in your room? 26? So you can keep track of your percentage to date. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But first, let's, uh, let's take a moment of silence to just get our day started, to center ourselves, to breathe and be fully present. Thank you. And now, your morning announcements. All right, gonna be, gonna be, gonna be your day. That was a song dedication from Malachi in Miss M's class. He dedicates that song to my class. He says, it's gonna be our day. Malachi, thank you for that song dedication. Wherever you may be, please stop, please stand, let us rise together for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And let's get our hearts pumping on this heartthrob kind of a day. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four. What's the number partner for four to make 10? If you said six, you'd be right. Let's do six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six, because four and six make 10. All right, what's going on on this day? All kinds of stuff. It's a Tuesday, which means it's Disney musicals in schools. A Zella test testing is going on for fourth and fifth grade. Um, at the end of the day today, during the last 30 minutes, you might even be celebrating. Some people have birthdays today, and they may have conversation hearts Maybe that's a great way to start a conversation or a student-to-student -student interaction. Think about it. Any case, attendance is, is like holding steady, everyone. I think we can do better than this. I want to give you an update on our tardies, but for right now, we had on Friday, 87.4. Remember, Fridays and Mondays were our two lowest days of attendance. On Monday, being yesterday, our attendance for the day was... 88.4, not as good as last week on Monday. Um, we gotta get this trend up. We gotta push that 88.9 over the 90% mark so we can make our way to 96. Are you doing your part? If you are, congratulations, keep up the great work. If you're not, start getting here and start getting here on time. I see many of you walking in the door um, after the 8.30 bell. In fact, if you're walking in after the 8.25 bell, you probably aren't gonna make it on time. So get up just a little earlier, Set that alarm for just five minutes earlier. If you're walking to school, walk just a little bit faster. If mom and dad are bringing you, help them get out the door. We need you here and we need you here on time. You can do it. We're here to help and we're here to cheer you on. Uh, in addition to that, um, I want to say thank you for all of you who shared with us your gigantic thank you cards for Harkins Theaters. It's really important to practice gratitude in life and to stop and just slow down long enough to tell someone else Thank you. So, thank you for making these thank yous. Uh, we'll get these into the hands of Ms. Allison Sipes, who's a resident of Coronado um, and was nice enough to make that uh, popcorn uh, day available to all of you for showing respect, responsibility, and care. On this day, we are celebrating for Black History Month, someone you probably don't know about. This was submitted by Ms. Sellos after something she saw recently. Um, on CBS. 
The person we are celebrating today, name is Roy Davenport. Do you know what Roy is known for? I would be surprised if you did. But after today, you might be one of the 310 uh, people who do know what Roy accomplished. Executive Order 9981 was signed by President Harry Truman on July 26, 1948. That particular executive order uh, desegregated the U.S. military. It came about, though, in part because of the courageous efforts of Roy Davenport. He was, for all intents and purposes, a regular person, like you and me, except he was a black civilian who worked at the Pentagon. And his deep knowledge of how the personnel practices worked at the Pentagon was enough to um, offer to the Fahey Committee under President Truman that the Army's response to desegregation wasn't worth the paper it was written on. He revealed the truth about what that practice was, and it was because of him that executive order uh, finally came to pass. He's a whistleblower, saw an injustice that sparked change to desegregate the military, and his efforts contributed to the many efforts of others during the civil rights movement um, that reached its pinnacle several years later. So today, we salute you, Roy Davenport, unsung hero. Thank you for that dedication, Ms. Sellos. And um, I checked again to see if we have any song dedications, uh, and we have many, which we'll continue to play. But then I checked to see, do we have any shout outs? And as of right now, we have zero. So my challenge to all of you today, uh, students, staff, and teachers, is for you to click the button below this video before the day is out to see if we can get to 10 shout outs to tell a staff member thank you for something else that they did. Something you want to recognize, uh, something you want to appreciate, something for which you have gratitude. Shout them out, uh, and we'll be sure to call them out. I'm sure that no kind words will ever be wasted. All right, let's get to the words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning, and you can save your conversation hearts till the end of the day, and then you can all enjoy them. We'll call several names today. I have so many things to give away. These are apparently wristbands that you can eat. Why? I don't know. All right, today is on the topic of loss, which was our theme for January's writing contest. Life is hard sometimes. Bad things happen. Maybe someone we care about gets sick, or someone we love goes to live somewhere else, or someone close to us passes away. Stephen Patrick DeFazio understands that. He's one of the authors of the book, Boy Knows It All. Boys know it all. When Stephen was in second grade, he found out he had a brain tumor. But listen to what he has to say in his book. Sometimes things may seem really, really bad, but if you just hang in there, you'll get through it. That's great advice. If things get tough, remember Stephen's advice and ask for help if you need it. And then hang in there. You will get through it, and we're here to help. With something to think about, this is Mr. Lodato. Mask up today, hand sanitize, Hats, hoods, and sunglasses off indoors. Speaking of, found these. Then stay in your zones. Put away your phones. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. And Malachi, it's going to be your day.